Hello my dear friends Welcome to Belgrade on a sunny Saturday um, The morning was sunny and it continues to be so although not not very warm something like 11-12 degrees but uh, nice weather definitely in the morning it was um, a real pleasure driving to the streets of Belgrade because the level of traffic was much smaller than it is now although now it is also relatively okay but you know the the feeling when there are only a few cars in the streets it is quite nice and that morning sun was maybe even slightly nicer I mean the sun is the same but the effect that it creates uh, today is an important date uh, the, on today's date in in 1918, the first Serbian army, led by Vojvoda Petar Bojović, the Duke Petar Bojović, uh, has liberated uh, Belgrade, freed Belgrade from the Austro-Hungarian and German troops. And it happened only one and a half month from the moment when the the same army led by the same general and Vojvoda Duke uh, breached the Macedonian front at Kaimakchalan mountain actually at Dobropole or Dobropolje um, and then uh, this first Serbian army uh, ran practically through the valley of uh, the river Vardar all the way to Skopje more or less uh, uh, rushed practically only the French cavalry managed to follow them and this was the uh, practically a decisive strike in the in this other the southern battlefield because uh, the Bulgarian army was then separated from the uh, Austrian and German allies and practically was kicked out from the front um, and it surrendered practically only 15 days after the breach of the front it was an unconditional surrender the only let's say there was only one condition that practically the Bulgarians begged for and that condition was that uh, the allies the other allies do not let Serbs to enter Bulgaria because of the many crimes against humanity that their soldiers did especially in the, in the Eastern Serbia uh, they were afraid of the revenge of the Serbian soldiers, of the fury practically. And okay, the, uh, the chief in command, um, French general Franche de Pere, honored this uh, request, request or this begging of theirs. So practically this remained as the only condition for their surrender. Unfortunately, Serbs are not known for honoring their heroes properly. So the above mentioned uh, general and duke, I mean the Vojvoda. Vojvoda is actually the title 
that we translate as Duke, but it's uh, actually not that kind of a title. Um, Voivoda is a military title and it was awarded only four times to four Serbian generals. Uh, Radomir Putnik, Vojvoda Stepa Stepanovic, Živojn Mišić and the late, I mean the last one was uh, Vojvoda Petar Bojović and he was also the youngest that whoever, I mean, that ever got this prestigious title. Okay, that much for now. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.